As I was saying, the, the, these three um, competing ideas, you know, well, competing um, structures to the universe is in an open universe um, where it'll continue to expand forever, a closed universe where, um, you know, it'll, it'll uh, expand, eventually the expansion will stop and it'll crunch back down, the gravitation will cause it to, to, all the galaxies to crunch back in on themselves, or is it a flat universe where um, it'll just, you know, um, keep keep expanding, um, you know, forever, uh, but but not, uh, you know, not not uh, not, not uh, crunch back in on itself. Um, all right, uh, let's see. So, um, uh, that, that's really what these, you know, with these competing ideas were. Oh, you know, we, we try we try to figure these this kind of stuff out. Um, um, let's see. Uh, even Einstein actually worked on some of this. Came up with this formula, uh, which is about the critical density of the universe. Um, anyhow, th this is this is now pretty much a moot point. It's not it's not very important as it once was. Um, because, uh, as I said, we, we know that the universe is an open universe, and and I'll get into explaining that um, in just in just a little bit. This this is these are the values that um, I mean this doesn't really matter that much anymore, uh, right? Um, and this is why. Okay, so around um, 1998, I think it was, um, there was a team of astronomers. There was actually two teams of astronomers that. Um, uh, me, me, measured the uh, the brightness of um, of supernova, right? They, they they just they did a systematic survey of of uh, supernova that were occurring in very very distant galaxies, and um, when when they looked at them, uh, they found something very interesting, and what what they found was you know it was actually absolutely astounding astounding um, it, it, it took a couple of years for for the you know the publications to come out and so forth but basically what it said is that the universe um, in the past in the distant past was was expanding at a certain rate and we, we never thought that that rate would would uh, would speed up. I mean, no, no one, no one was even thinking that that was a possibility. You know, we thought maybe maybe we could tell if you know over over time if the universe was going to slow down due to you know the overall gravitation of the universe was slowing the expansion rate down. But these astronomers and and another team as well made made a startling dis discovery that in fact the the expansion rate of the universe is faster now than it was in the past, which means that the universe is, the expansion of the universe is actually speeding up. Okay, so that's, um, now, you know, it's not speeding, it's not like, you know, accelerating, like, greatly or anything like that, but it is, it is, it is, it is um, expanding um, faster than it was in the past, and, um, and we don't know why. Even today, we still don't, you know, it, it, uh, we still don't know why, and, 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 you know, there's been lots of theories on why, but no, no actual um, hard experimental evidence that will tell us, you know, what this, what is causing this. But it's, it's got a name, of course, you know, and he, um, it's called dark energy. Okay, so dark energy is completely different than what we remember before we talked about dark matter, where dark matter had to do with the speed of the stars in, you know, in the outer parts of the galaxies moving faster than they should be. Um, this is the expansion of the universe itself speeding up. So as, you know, as time goes on, the, the expansion rate increases and... Um, uh, and and so this this uh, this has gotten this name dark energy, um, and so uh, so the universe is going to not only is it 
he not not going to slow down. Um, it's 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 speeding up. Uh, we don't know what this stuff is. Like I said, there's lots and lots of ideas out there, but the, no real hard evidence. I think there's no. Um, you got to have experimental evidence in science. Um, all right, so uh, so um, yeah, so we you know it's it's definitely not a closed universe. It is a um, uh, you know a, a uh, an open universe, if you will. All right, uh, let's see. So that is um, all right. Uh, now remember, I was I was uh, mentioning the fact that uh, we, you know we were able to to measure very very accurately what the that that uh, that temperature is. Um, the, like I said, there was a there was a um, let's see, it's not in this slide here, but uh, there was a spacecraft called um, W Map, a very famous. Uh, it took this picture. Um, this picture actually has a name. It's you know it's sometimes uh, in in astronomy. Uh, things are so important that uh, they, they get names, and this uh, is 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 um, well. Uh, this is um, you know the the uh, the entire universe, right? The entire universe in um, mi microwave, uh, and basically what what the W map did is um, oh, oh the, the, the this picture sometimes is called the face of God um, just you know because it's the entire universe uh, all right anyhow um, what what this what this picture did is it allowed us to look at small variations in the back cosmic background radiation so you know when 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 Penzias and Wilson did their observations they they had no idea there was any difference you know between one point in the universe and another point i mean they just got you know this cosmic uh, hiss if you will um, in the 1990s they they sent up another uh, a, a, a very accurate spacecraft um, called kobe um, and, and the cosmic background explorer and um, gave us a little bit of evidence, but then WMAP um, in the, I think it was in the early 2000s, gave us this picture. And so the, the hot spots, these, these, redder, these redder areas, um, are really where galaxies will form, will, will, will form in the, in, the, in the infant universe. This, this, is a, this is a picture of the universe after it is about uh, 400,000 years old. We, we, we can't we can't pierce uh, into into the into the Big Bang itself, but um, we can get about four hundred thousand years after the Big Bang, and so you see these these bluer regions here and here, um, and then of course there's the hotter regions. So the bluer regions are, are where the voids are going to be, right? Though those are the spaces where there's no galaxies and, that that are going to form, um, and, but these these darker reddish regions. Are where the galaxies are going to form, right? That, that's where, where, where you know hydrogen and helium are being formed. All right, so so that's you know th again that's one aspect of what the Big Bang theory does for you. Um, let me just mention really quickly there was another competing theory until the cosmic background radiation was observed, um, uh, called the steady state theory. And the steady state theory was uh, basically what, what what people thought of as the of 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 the universe in the early twentieth century um, that that the universe was infinitely old. When when the cosmic background radiation uh, was observed in the in the early nineteen sixties, there was no way that you could explain this cosmic background radiation with with the steady state theory. There, you can't. There's nothing to produce um, this same signal everywhere in the universe, and not only that. Um, in more modern times, you know, it, with the, with WMAP, we find that this is not the exact same signal everywhere in the universe. But there's little hot spots and cooler spots. The hot spots are where galaxies are going to form. The cooler spots are where the voids are going to form. Um, there's and. The steady state theory has nothing at all to say about that. Now, now it was completely dead by the 1960s. You know, once um, 
uh, you know, once once uh, Penzies and Wilson made the discovery, but this is just more, you know, further evidence that the steady state theory is wrong. Um, now, with with W maps picture, uh, and I know it's kind of a leap, but what we can figure out um, from this is that uh, twenty three percent. Okay, so from this picture, it, it, it's a lot of work, believe me. Uh, you find that about twenty three percent of the universe is made of this dark matter, and only four percent or so of of the universe, um, or, or well. Four and a half percent or so is, is made of the ordinary stuff that we normally see stars, dead stars, galaxies, things like that. Um, and 70, because of the rate of this expansion, 72 percent of the universe is this thing called dark energy. So the dark matter, 23 percent, dark energy, 27 percent. Remember, this is a huge chunk, right? This 23% is a huge chunk of the universe. We have no idea what it is, what this stuff is. 72% is this dark energy, which we, again, we don't know what that stuff is. Uh, there's been lots of theories, but nobody really knows. Um, we do, from, from uh, the Big Bang Theory, we can, we can come up with um, a picture of what happened in the early universe. And that's what I'm going to talk about um, now. Let me see how much time do I have. Oh, yeah, okay. So um, one of the things that happens in, in particle accelerators, and, you know, this is this ordinary particle accelerators on the Earth, is um, you can, we can actually turn matter into energy, right? Using, you know, the, um, the, this equation describes that, E equals mc squared, energy is equal to matter times the speed of light squared. And, and um, you know, you, you, you probably can imagine, you know, matter turning into energy, that's kind of what what goes on when when you have you know a a, a nuclear explosion right we, we talked about that um, that that's how the sun that's how all the stars work there they're converting matter into energy but you can actually convert energy into matter um, and we do that regularly in particle accelerators but one of the things that happens is when whenever matter um, I'm sorry energy is turned into matter you always get a a matter particle and an antimatter particle every single time. Um, and this is actually still one of the mysteries of the universe. In the very early universe, somehow, um, you know, matter comes into existence, but according to the laws of physics that we currently understand, there should have been just as much antimatter created. But, but we don't find it. Antimatter is a very rare thing, it turns out. Um, all right, so uh, approximately one, so this is, you know, there's lots and lots of equations that are involved in this, but, but uh, just kind of bear with me here. Um, we're not going to go into those equations. Uh, about roughly one microsecond after the Big Bang, you have this enormous temperature of something like 10 to the 13th Kelvin, right? This is, this is hotter than, the, the you know, the than uh, what occurs during during a supernova explosion um, and, and basically what's happening is you're creating um, what are the, the fundamental particles that make up protons and neutrons they're called quarks protons and neutrons are not not the fun they're not fundamental particles they're made of these these other more fundamental particles called quarks now electrons for example are not fun are, are fundamental there's nothing nothing that makes up an electron. An electron is a fundamental particle. Um, so the universe is extremely small, smaller than the, the, than, you know, the, um, the Earth's orbit. Um, the, ex the, the universe is expanding very close to the speed of light, but as it does this, it is cooling down. Um, and, and, uh, and basically, at, you know, as it's cooling down, it stops creating quarks and anti-quarks, and begins to, um, you know, create, uh, uh, well, the, the, these things join and become, become protons um, and neutrons, of course. Uh, roughly five seconds after the Big Bang, um, it, it cools enough to cre for uh, the creation of matter to, to basically stop. So, you know, during that time, <laughs> in the first five seconds of the universe, 
all the protons and, and, and neutrons that are going to be are created. Okay, that's a pretty amazing thing. Um, th three minutes after the Big Bang, um, about a fourth of the protons